Welcome friends. Let us solve the question number 7 of exercise 7.1 of chapter 7. And the question says find the points on the x-axis which is equidistance from the point 2 and minus 5 and minus 2 and 9. Let us solve the question. First of all, let us draw the coordinate axis, a rough sketch of coordinate axis. This is y-axis. Here is x-axis and we are said to find the point on x axis which is equidistant from the point suppose this is the point which is equidistant from 2 5 here is 2 and 5 suppose this is 2 and 5 and this is point a 2 and minus 5 here is minus 2 and 9 suppose this is minus 2 and 9 and this is b and this is the point p whose coordinates will be x and 0 because on x axis y is equals to 0 and now we shall draw a straight line joining the points P and A and P and B and now we shall apply the distance formula to find the distance between the points P and A and P and B so first of all we shall find the distance between the points P and A it will be equals to 2 minus x square root of 2 minus x square plus minus 5 minus 0 square this is equals to 4 plus x square minus 4x plus 25 this is equals to x square minus 4x plus 29 and now we shall find the distance between the points P and B this means PB and it will be equals to minus 2 minus x this means x plus 2 whole square and 0 minus 9 square this means this is equals to x square plus 4x plus 4 plus 81 this is equals to x square plus 4x plus 85 and we are given that PA is equals to PB we are given that PA is equals to PB we have calculated PB is equals to square root of x square plus 4x plus 85 and PA is equals to x square minus 4x plus 29 and now we shall find uh, now we shall square both the sides squaring both the sides we have x square minus 4x plus 29 equals to x square plus 4x plus 85 we shall cancel out x square with x square then it will be equals to minus 4x minus 4x equals to 85 minus 29 this means minus 8x is equals to equals to 57 this means x is equals to minus 7 therefore the required point is p whose coordinates are minus 7 and 0 this is the solution of the question thank you